I've always loved science and I always loved being outside and I always loved insects and collecting bugs but I don't think it was really until last couple of years at high school that I realised that you could do that as a job and as a career. From there I worked out that, that you could go to university and keep learning and keep studying science so that's what I chose to do. I remember in primary school we went to a nature education centre and they had stick insects and then my mum let me get one as a pet and that kind of just fueled the, fueled the interest. When you say wasp, everyone pictures a black and yellow stripy, annoying stinging thing that buzzes around your barbecue, but the wasps that I study are really tiny and black, but very beautiful under the microscope. So they've got a long needle-like um, projection, which we call the ovipositor, which they inject their eggs into caterpillars with. Um, or there can be wasps, which are beautiful metallic blue colors or greens. They're totally different than what people think wasps are. And I think studying them and learning about them and helping to change people's perceptions of wasps and all the important things they do in the environment is pretty cool. I love doing science because I love the idea that you're discovering something that no one else in the world knows. You are the very first person to know this thing. For me, getting to describe and name a new wasp that no one has ever really recognised or seen this wasp before and you're giving it a name that people might use for hundreds of years in the future. It's really exciting to feel like you're contributing something. I write a blog called Mustard the Dinosaur that talks about the day-to-day -day life of a PhD student in science and that's one of I think the best bits is finding out new things but then getting to tell people about them. I didn't know anything about wasps two years ago but the more you study something the more amazing and fascinating it becomes the more you learn about it. There's bits at school that get you really excited and then there's bits that are really boring. And I think where you then move on to university is where you get to choose just the stuff that you really want to study and learn stuff that's not straight out of a textbook. Follow your passion and follow what you enjoy. The best thing you can do is study something that you love and that gets you excited. And you know, not all of it is going to be fun all the time, but as long as you, as you love, love a lot of it and love what you're doing, um, then even the hard bits will, will be worth it.